My name is Colin Austin and I'm a pig. I just like food. I was told at one time I needed to go on a diet. I tried an alcohol free breakfast and that was okay. But the concept of giving up bananas and sultanas in my porridge was just not on. Then things got bad. I had to have a triple bypass and my wife got diabetes. So I decided I needed to study diet very seriously. I set up a Google alert and every morning I study the relationship between diet and health. What I learned is that the body is much smarter than we give it credit for. It tells us what to eat and what not to eat. In fact, it is the bacteria in our guts that send signals up or hormones to our, in our blood and up to our brains. If our diet is lacking in nutrients or vitamin, it senses this, telling us we must go and eat more. Certain types of food make you feel hungry. This is what I call the pizza syndrome. You buy a pizza. Maybe you eat half of it and feel pretty full. But maybe you could just manage one more slice and then another. But that only leaves one more slice which would be a shame to waste. So what is it about pizza that makes us want to eat and eat all the time and keep on going back for more and more? Well, the bacteria in our guts say give me more and more of that pizza. This is what I call the hungry beast within. But there are other types of food, much healthier types of food which actually suppress our appetite. Forget all about this silly diet stuff. What we need is to eat the food that, is, that will stop us feeling hungry. We need to eat more fruit and particularly vegetables. But not just any old vegetables, but vegetables which are seriously rich in nutrients and vitamins. If the vitamins are not there, we still feel hungry. This video is about how to grow vegetables which are full of nutrients and vitamins, what are known as phytonutrients, which make us feel satisfied. The wicking basket system was developed for people who wanted to have the benefits of nutritious food growing at home, but do not have the time or the space to become serious gardeners. The aim was to develop a growing system which provided food with a high nutrient level, particularly of the vitamins, trace minerals and phytonutrients which are essential for health. It can of course be used by serious gardeners. The heart of the system is a basket with a wick which sits in a bucket which acts as a water reservoir. The wick draws out water from the bucket to the soil in the basket. The bucket has a filler cum sight glass fitted at the bottom so you can see how much water is in the reservoir. You can put a pipe directly into the filler pipe and you can rotate the filler tube to drain the water out or to adjust the water level. Some plants do not like too much water while young seedlings need the soil to be very moist. But the key is to get the minerals into the plants. Critical minerals like selenium and the sex minerals of iron and zinc are available in volcanic rocks. However, rocks are not soluble. So we need the soil biology, such as the mycorrhizal fungi, to dissolve the rocks and make them available to the plants. Mycorrhizal fungi have hyphae, which exude enzymes which dissolve rocks. But fungi by themselves are not enough. Worms are needed to transport the spores. And the worms need bacteria to break down plant matter to provide energy. We need a balanced ecosystem. We fill the baskets with soil, which contains vermicast with worms, sand or vermiculite to provide aeration, compost to provide energy for the ecosystem and the essential mineral mix. We can germinate the seeds directly in the basket or we can germinate separately and transplant. Users will want a variety of plants, bulky plants like kangkong and silver beet together with the specialized plants like the herbs and spices to give flavor and medical herbs like gota curla, brahmin and herb robert. By planting several species in one basket and having several baskets, customers can enjoy 10, 20 or even 30 different types of plants. In some parts of the world, like an eco village in Queensland where I live, the wildlife is so active that it is impossible to grow some plants, like bok choy, outside. The insects eat them, so it is necessary to grow them in a protective shade house. This could mean missing out on the benefits of the natural ecosystem. 
This little device is really useful. Plants can be germinated in biologically active soil, then transplanted without disrupting the soil with all the biology intact into a wicking basket. Growing healthy food is not sterile factory farming with the emphasis on profit. Neither is it going back to the, to the technology of two centuries ago. It is using the best science and technology available to grow healthy food as part of a balanced ecosystem. We now come to the important part of letting the plants mature in a bioreserve. That is an area which is left undisturbed so the soil biology can multiply and move into the wicking baskets. The baskets are simply lowered into holes in the ground. This area has not been tilled and previously the classic mushroom rings have been noticed with the improved growth. This area is watered by a sprinkler. Probably a better way is to use an open style wicking bed e.g. a raised wicking bed maintaining contact with the native soil. The soil biology must be built up. Here I'm converting an established open wicking bed by growing a range of plants which improve soil. Plants like Senna alata are great for improving soils. They are a legume with very deep roots which draw up nutrients from deep in the soil. They also produce large amounts of soft foliage which makes excellent compost. Birds help by importing biology from nearby bushland. When ready, the baskets are taken out of the ground, put into the water container and delivered to the customer, possibly at the local market. The plants are best harvested using the chop and chew method. Instead of pulling out the entire plant, the outer leaves are pulled off and eaten. New leaves will regrow so the plant will provide continuous produce for a month or even two. Obviously, the prime purpose of the wicking basket system is to increase the nutrient level of the plants. But I would just ask you to consider the implications for how we buy food. In the classic farmer supermarket system, the farmer harvests the plants so they stop growing and they may spend some time in transport and storage before they are consumed. This can be a very wasteful process with as much as 40% of the food produced is wasted. It also means that plant varieties are selected for shelf life. In the wicking basket system, the plants are delivered to the customer as growing plants and will continue to grow until they are finally consumed. This means that a much wider range of varieties are available. Using the website www.healthyfoodassociation.com, consumers can choose who they want to grow their plants and buy the plants directly from the grower without a middleman. This is a much better system for both the customer and the grower. This could lead to a major change in the way we buy our food.